today we are talking about Sauvignon Blanc. It's International Sauvignon Blanc Day and so we have to celebrate this fantastic grape. It's a grape that originates from France from different regions. In South Africa we produce it in almost all the wine regions that we have and in different styles. And today I'm going to talk about quite an interesting one, one that I've tasted recently. It is from a producer called Domaine des Dieu. Sauvignon Blanc 100% from the 2010 vintage. Yes, it's a Sauvignon Blanc that's 10 years old. Now, most South Africans would think that Sauvignon Blanc needs to be drank within a year or two after it's been bottled. If you go into a restaurant and they have a 2017 listed on a 2020 list, most, most South Africans think it's over the hill, it's tired, they probably have it on the wine list because they can't move the stock. That couldn't be further from the truth. Especially in cooler climates like the Yemon Arda Valley, like in Elam, um, the climate allows for the grapes to retain a lot of natural acidity. And that's one of the biggest components that gives wine legs to age. Yes, alcohol and, and um, tannins play a role as well, but in white wine, the acidity is the most important element. So this Sauvignon Blanc, this Domaine de Sauvignon Blanc, uh, aged quite well in any white wine that has gone through some extensive bottle aging. The fresh fruit does become a little bit more subdued, but you gain complexity in other forms of fruit. So it might be that instead of having a fresh, singy, lemony character, you might have some orange marmalade in there, or you might have some baked apple pie, you might have some stewed pears in there. All that add a different layer that you won't find in a, a younger wine. In my opinion, at least, it makes the wine a lot more pairable with food, especially if you're planning on enjoying the bottle right throughout the meal. It becomes a little bit more of a comedian of a wine. The style also reminds me of another Sauvignon Blanc that I had quite recently, the Creation 2009 Sauvignon Blanc. And it's amazing that the Sauvignon Blancs from this region do age so well. Both were in cork closures, so you, you would think that they age quite quickly, but they re age in an elegant, sophisticated way. So please, do me a favor and don't throw out those older bottles of Sauvignon Blanc. Chill them down, enjoy them, see what the wine gives you, how generous they are. Maybe a little bit not so in your face, but they still are some generous, generous wines. And on that note, Enjoy International Sauvignon Blanc Day, go pour yourself a glass or two, and I'll see you next time.